these um, used to be Chaos Warriors uh, back when Chaos Warriors came out in about 2000 or so I had a little Chaos Army now that Chaos Army has since been sold uh, many years ago but I was left with the warriors themselves, which at one point I converted into beastmen because I don't know if you remember, but beastmen were hideously expensive. Um, now, what I've got here are the heads of some obviously orcs, and I've clipped off the heads of the beastmen and I've shaved down the plastic so that the plastic glue will take. And I'm going to add these as more heavily armoured orcs for my Age of Sigmar army, which is um, the orcs and the goblins from my army. Well, the orcs are, are from the army that you will have already seen in the video, but I'm going to take that down because I'm not going to use that as a Warhammer 40,000 army. I'm going to keep it as an Age of Sigmar army. Um, so yeah, the, these little chaps are um, going to be heavily armoured orcs um, what do you call them? the, the iron jaws I suppose but even if they're just going to be regular orc boys it's 40 more orc boys for the for the auric army I suppose you'd call it I don't really care that they've got chaos symbols on them because it's kind of an orky thing to do you just pick up the thing that works why would you bother spending time hammering the new symbol into a shield if the shield works as it is and you pick it up so i'm just effectively going to do minimal repainting here i'm going to change the skin tone from beige to green uh, you'll see some of these are actually orc parts anyway that I used to make the beast man. Um, so that's just a little work in progress at the minute. The there are a couple like that one there, that's a goblin arm. But never mind. Um 